this? It's the central gate of the prison. It's locked. A hawk's picture is carved. So yeah, that's where the hawk emblem is going to go. It's been completely nailed down. Oh! Alright, I'm going to try to knife my way through here, because there's like a lot of zombies. I don't want to use too much handgun ammo. Well, that was a fail. Get you. All right, briefcase. What's in it, huh? There's a button. Aha, the TG01 and a document. TG01 product description. Alright, so this is the special metal material that I'm going to use to duplicate the hawk emblem. But it's a special alloy that can't be detected by metal detectors. So, that's the whole ordeal with that metal detecting box thing. Oh yeah, I forgot, I got the padlock key. All right. Make things a lot faster. Oh, so yeah, there's a... It's an indigo blue plate. <laughs> ah! Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. All right. Oh, yeah. Alright. complete. Alright, the special alloy emblem. Oh no! Well, so much for that. Now, there is a trick to actually prevent that from happening. If I had activated the metal detector uh, before I made that emblem, it would have sealed the windows and they wouldn't have been able to come through after making the emblem. And then of course you disable the alarm, the shutters open back up, but they won't burst through. So <laughs> I was going to try to do that, but I forgot you got to do it before the emblem. But it's probably okay because at least you got to see that. But now I have to deal with them since, <laughs> with no weapons I might add. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Alright, so now, since I'm never, probably never coming back here, now I'm gonna take everything again. Except the empty extinguisher. I really don't need that. Alright, got everything I need. Uh oh.
Alrighty, we are out of the prison. What's this? <laughs> door is completely destroyed. Is there another door right there? Yep, can't go through there. Ugh. Okay. Oh, there's some handgun ammo in that Jeep. Alright, here's one of the areas where the demo was. So obviously, I'm gonna push that crate. Got a few, quite a few zombies here. I'm gonna avoid them, avoid any that I can. Go this way. I was lucky. Oh, we got some zombie dogs coming our way. I was relentless. Easy peasy. These ones are a lot easier than the ones in the first three games, that's for sure. Alright, so there is an item over there. But I'm actually not going to pick it up for quite some time in this game because there's a very specific cutscene that is triggered if you wait until the last possible moment to pick it up. And I want to trigger that cutscene to show you as much as possible in this main playthrough. Anything else that could occur event-wise I would show in the bonus video, of course. <laughs> Enter the palace. Oh, some more handgun ammo, that's nice. Alright, I'm tired of caution state, so I'm gonna use this herb again. Security lock system is active. Enter an employee ID to activate the unlocking device. Please enter your ID number. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Error. Okay. So we obviously don't know the ID number. Actually, I do in my head, but play this game as legitimately as possible, with the exception of that infinite herb. And find the source of the ID number. But first, I am gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna... Let's see. Alright, that so that's electronically locked, so that's what the computer unlocks. What about this door? Ah, I can go in this door. Oh, I hear some bats. We should probably get our lighter out. One of the uses of watching the demo. So yeah, if I don't have, if you don't have your lighter equipped in a room full of bats, they will attack you continuously. All right, what do we got? A uh, Dorolaman case. Dorolaman case. It's secured by a simple lock. I could open it if I had a lock pick. Return to the lock pick, huh? <laughs> See, keeping it classic. Alright, there's a first aid spray. Not touching that shit. Because that will affect my rank very badly if I use it. So it's a waste of space. Ah, 
silver crest door, huh? All right. Anything else over here? It doesn't look like it. Ah, we found sanctuary at the return of the save room and the very soothing music associated with it. I have to say, out of all the games so far, this save room music is the most soothing. While the previous three were a little more concerning, if anything. Alright, we found an item box, so... Um, I haven't gotten hurt since I last used this infinite herb, so... I'm not gonna use it anymore. I'm gonna stash it way where I can't find it. <laughs> and say goodbye to the infinite herb. But you guys could use it as much as you want. I'm, I decided that I should try to play this game legitimate, more legitimately, so... I only used it a very short time. At least you guys know about it, that's what mattered. Alright, so now I'm gonna pick up this other ink ribbon to stack. Alright, four of them. It's definitely not gonna save that many times. So, I won't need to pick up any more ink ribbons from here on out. Alright, and sort the item box in a very OCD manner. Uh, anything above the line is item-wise, below the line I like weapon-wise. Sort of like that. Alright, but I don't need to store all of that. I'm gonna store the Derulium case. I mean, obviously I won't, can't do anything with it until I have a lockpick. So, uh, handgun and ammo. Um, I might be done with the combat knife, even though it's a very OP knife and it's quite useful. Uh, I think I'm gonna be done with it for now. So, I'm gonna need the space. Um, and I'll keep that in there. Things aren't gonna get too hectic yet. Alrighty then. What we got here? Secretary's note. Oh, we got an herb. And an ID card. There you go. An ID card for an umbrella employee. Uh, let's inspect it further. The word NTC 0394 is written on it. So there's the identification number. It's locked. There's an indentation in the shape of two guns. Yeah, okay. Lots of locked doors right now. They will all get unlocked in time, though. Alright, so it was NTC 0394. Is that a picture of Hunk? On the warning symbol? I think it is. <laughs> Alright, uh, N, T, C, zero, three, nine, four. Alright, ID verification has been confirmed. Security lock system is deactivated. Alright, now we can go that door. ID card is unuseful. Discard? Yep, always say yes when I ask you to discard. There is absolutely no reason whatsoever to keep items. Oh boy. Alright, we'll get some ammo and start. Another silver crest door. Wait, oh, what is this? Ooh, a red herb. There you go. 
That's a decent healing item. Was I even hitting him that whole time? It's locked. A gold crest. Okay. Oh, what about this door? Yes. Combat knives are displayed here. Two handguns are displayed here. A model fighter plane. A model battleship. Visual references. <laughs> War seems to be the primary theme. No shit. And two magnums. And a jewel modeled after an ant. There's a button. FMB sequence. was Alfred and Alexia Ashford, uh, two of the main antagonists in this game. <sighs> this whole estate is for the Ashford family, if you haven't, t t if you haven't gathered from the fi some of the files yet. Ah, alright, so yeah, the two are pretty demented, and almost, and almost seemingly incestual. <laughs> Alright, what is this? A steering wheel! Ooh, a pair of gold Lugers! Oh no! Uh, yeah, let's replace that before we die. Over time, yeah, you will die. Oh shoot, I need those ghoul loogers to unlock a door in the save room. Steve is suffering. There is a message on the control panel. When two pairs complete, my anger will subside. Operate it. Okay, so... Alright, so it's all the things that were displayed earlier. Uh, there were only two of them, though, that were in pairs. And that was the handguns and the magnums. Yeah, there you go. That was too close. But I found something, thanks to you. Looks cool, huh? Oh, I need those. Give them to me. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. I found it, and I'm keeping it. We found it, asshole. Fine. Let's make a deal. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. See you around, Claire. Adios. Hey, wait! Steve! What a great...
greedy <laughs> little brat. Let's trade you two handguns for something fully automatic. Really now. Okay. Seems like a fair trade off. Alright, well, he has the gold Lugers, and apparently we're not going to get him until we give him what he wants, so... Uh-oh. Don't just stand there. That was super delayed. Redfield! How dare you interfere with my operation? What are you talking about? You let yourself be captured so you could lead your people to this base! I have no idea what you're babbling about. You don't fool me! I am Alfred Ashford, commander of this base. Oh? You must be one of Umbrella's lower level officers if you're in command of a backwater base like this one. How dare you! <laughs> the Ashford family is among the world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inc. Edward Ashford. Now tell me, why have you attacked this installation? Attacked? Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. You must have informed your people of its location. I still don't follow you. I really don't know anything about that. Unacceptable! How can you deny it? My base has been destroyed. And thanks to you, the experimental T-Virus was released, creating countless zombies and monsters. Tell me, who do you work for? Who sent you? <laughs> Have it your way, then. You're just a rat in a cage anyway. I'll be sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. <laughs> okay, that's a it's quite a bit cringeworthy and borderlining the quality of Survivor's voice acting. Ugh, but overall, it's a little better. Ugh, okay. So, I guess the only thing to do right now is to go out, go back outside. Haven't been down here yet. Ooh, bowgun arrows. So once again, Claire's gonna get a bowgun. Along with more handgun ammo. And the palace map. I can switch maps going left or right. Got it. No, there's. There's an octagonal hollow. Ah, oh, well, obviously the steering wheel is going to go here. Wait, let me check it though. This wheel used to steer a ship. It has an octa-shaped projection. <laughs> so that's how you would know and connect the dots. Turn the steering wheel. Oh, and a submarine emerges. What is this? It's a side pack. I can carry more items if I equip this. Okay, so I'm pretty sure, or I have a feeling that if you don't take it here, it's possible you could leave it for someone else later. So it's a decision you have to make now. Very similar to Resident Evil 2. Yet another reference. But I'm gonna go ahead and equip it now. So I, because I'm. I'm going to be Claire a lot longer than any other character, so 
Yeah. There is a lever. Move it? Sure. So where have we gone? Uh. Well, that's interesting. some zombies. Another ink weapon. Don't care. Hear more bats. See what happens. Okay, obviously, no, not over here, but on the other side. Oh, there's a key item down there, but uh, can't access the controls from it. Not yet, anyway. The control panel for the shutter. The marking above... The markings above the keyhole read K402. Okay. An elevator. There's a lever. Ah, so a claw, or crane. Now we'll have access. What's well, over here first? Well, not going anywhere there. Control panel for the elevator iron bridge. The lever is missing. Ah, okay. So, lots and lots of puzzle solving as usual. There actually was not a lot of that in Survivor, so it's been missing. Been missing it. Alright. Uh oh. Bowgun arrows and ah, biohazard card. Okay, so we don't know where that goes yet, but we will be getting to that area shortly. <laughs> 